My name is Natalia Kaleda. I'm co-founder of Belarus Free Theatre together with my husband Nikolai Halezin and uh, our actress and director Vladimir Sherbin. Yesterday some of us arrived to New York and we came from Belarus. Belarus is the last dictatorship in Europe. Uh, on December 19 of 2010 it was a terrible crackdown on democratic forces of Belarus. Up to 700 people got arrested and went to jails. I was one of them. I was not allowed to sleep for 16 hours. My husband is uh, in hiding uh, because KGB is searching for him. Our theatre manager, uh, Toma, he just was released from jail on December 31. But still many, many, many people are in jails and uh, main presidential candidate from democratic forces are staying in KGB jails and they could get up to 15 years in jail only for expressing their views on the situation in Belarus and protecting free and fair elections in our country. Some of us arrived yesterday to New York changing cars, changing names and flying from absolutely another country because it was not possible to make it from our own country. It's happened with the great support of another artist who stay now in New York at Under the Radar Festival. Two other groups are arriving today and it was the first time in the history of our theatre when our theatre cannot make it together from our own country to any other country. We are split it into three groups and we are travelling from another country in order to be here. And we need to change the names in order to come to another country to perform, just to perform. And we spoke to people at the square in Belarus and we expressed all solidarity that went from all over the world, from hundreds and hundreds of artists from different countries in the frames of a global artistic campaign in solidarity with Belarus that was started by Belarus Free Theatre with a great moral support of our friend Tom Stoppard, Harold Pinter, Václav Havel, now he has supported all over the world with the support of Steven Spielberg, Jude Law, Sienna Miller and now all your names are added into this absolutely amazing list of people who express their solidarity with Belarus. Only when you speak the government's could make changes to our country. Only when you speak to your governments, your governments could make a pressure on Belarusian government in order to release all people who are now in jail in Belarus. Just speak, because we need your voices to be heard. Just speak, because your governments need to hear your voices as well in order to change the situation, in order to stop the last dictatorship in Europe. Thank you for your support.